sorry people if you are someone who is emotional sensitive or expecting then please please don't watch this video because it's not good for you when i first watched few clips from episode 2 i was so scared to continue watching it so it took me some time to decide on and now finally i'm here to review the episode 2 and in today's video we are going to see what happened in the lives of Pan Sa Hyun and Song Wen in the episode 2 of Love Feet Marriage and they were season 3. Let's begin! Pan Wen Ho and Ae Jong happily inform Song Wen's brother over the phone that she safely delivered a healthy baby of which they don't know about the gender because they haven't met her yet. And on the other hand Song Wen was so happy she was caressing her baby and that's when baby looked at her and she was so happy and she told to the nurses and doctor about it and they were so happy for her and the child. Then a nurse went to her to help her with the breastfeeding and that's when Song Wen went breathless. She was unable to speak and then doctor noticed the blood down. So that's when they realized that something bad is happening and they wanted to help her. But somehow they couldn't release the baby from Song Wen because she held the baby so tight. I don't know if it was her who held the baby tight because she was scared or because of the condition she was going through. And finally, when they could release the baby from her after so much difficulty, her hand just fell down as if she was dead and then the readings went zero. They tried to revive her by performing CPR on her but uh, it was of no use. And she died with her eyes open and tears rolling down her cheeks. It was such a heart aching scene to see. This really scared me. Not only the writer killed Song Wen, the way she killed her character, it's really very scary and heart aching. While washing his hands in the washroom, Pan Sa Hyun looked at himself in the mirror and he was so happy and he was smiling. And when he came out, his father questioned if he went to poop because he took such a long time. And Sahin told him that he was so nervous and excited that he did not realize that he did not pee the whole day. So he couldn't stop peeing. I understand him. This is what happens when you hold your pee for a long time and he held it for almost a day. Pan Sa Hyun, who has no clue that Song Wen breached her last, got ready to meet her and his future child and also told his father not to call him and disturb him. And Moon was like, can I text you? And their happy moment was broke by the doctor who informed them about the death of Song Wen, which they couldn't believe and they were all heartbroken. Moon Ho lost his consciousness out of shock and Pan Sa Hyun was so shocked that he immediately ran into the room and since she died with her eyes open he felt like she was looking at him and when he felt her body was still warm he requested the doctor to perform cpr but doctor told that they have already done that and it's of no use and she died cause of amniotic fluid embolism well neither him nor i know about it so the doctor explained that it is a situation where amniotic fluid mixes with the bloodstream of the mother which caused the death of song Wen. And Pan Sa Hyun, who couldn't believe that she left him, did not let the people to take her body to the morgue. He continuously begged the doctors and the staff to do something and save Song Wen. And he started to cry bitterly. And it took him some time to realize that she's no more. And he started to cry so bad. He was so heartbroken. I must say, Kang Shin Hyo, the new face of Pan Sa Hyun, really did a tremendous job. To express pain is not easy and that too in this way like you lose someone you love the most in your life and you will be so heartbroken he really showed that i personally never thought that sahyun loved her i thought that he did not like Bu Herong, he fell out of love with her, then he found someone who is opposite to her. He might have just felt comfort in Song Wen, he might have just got attached to her just like Mm, Nam Gabin fell for Park Heron, but the way he performed and the way he cried after losing her made me realize that he really loved her so much. And I think the people who quit the show because there is no Sang Hoon and the people who are feeling a bit uh, difficult to adjust to the new face of Pan Sa Hyun might find it easy after watching his performance in this episode. And when Moon Ho came back to consciousness, he and Ajong went to see Song Wen and they were heartbroken to see the way she died with her eyes open. 
and Ajung was heartbroken for the baby because the baby will never get to see his mother and they started to cry so much well that also made me realize that they loved Songwon so so much than I have ever imagined and then they went to see the baby who was in the care of a nurse because the baby lost its mother so the baby was put in that baby room and Munho and his wife everyone felt so sad for the baby and Munho assured the baby that the baby has his grandfather, grandmother, dad, uncle and two cousins and I'm like why didn't you take the name of his aunt I mean your elder son's wife looks like he considers only those people his family who are related to him by blood I understand that they don't love Bo Hairong because she's not their type but I also wondered do they treat their elder daughter-in-law as sweet and as good as they are treating Song Wen? Now, listening to him not taking her name, I think maybe he doesn't. At the funeral house, everybody is sad mourning for Song Wen and then Munho got the call of his elder son asking where they are and he told them that they are in the second VIP room. So I think uh, we might get to see this guy in future episode because in episode 2 though they did not show him. I seriously wanted to see the elder brother of Pan Sa Hyun. And Bu Hairang's friend who went to the same funeral regard Miss Sa Hyun and when the woman with her asked her about him, she told that he is the ex-husband of her friend and the woman was curious to know why they divorced because he's so good looking. And she ended up telling that he's a cheater husband. And then she called Bu Hairong and told her that Pan Sa Hyun lost someone close in his family by the way he dressed up himself. And Bu Hairong thought that it couldn't be his parents, so she immediately called Pan Sa Hyun to know about it. And when Pan Sa Hyun saw her name flashing on his phone, his eyes teared up. And this episode made me realize that. When they told unimaginable, unpredictable things and endings will happen in this season, they weren't joking. Indeed, they were very serious about them. So that's it for today's video. What do you think about the writer named killing the character of Song Wen? Do let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notifications whenever I upload a new video. See you in the next video. Until then, ta-ta. Bye-bye. Take care. Oh.